What's up guys? Welcome back to Easy Life and today we're going to be diving straight back into career mode and as I said last time, today I think we're doing the Yishan World Open which we are, yep, as qualifiers I'll be entering this tournament and I am playing as the Rocket once again this time as Reese Clark, or oh, best of 9 frame match slightly longer, yesterday we were best of 7 which was uh, first of 4 frames so yeah, quite looking forward to this some no world championship snooker on this year, but snooker 19 offers um, some great opportunities. I mean, the virtual world championship. I mean, uh, we've got the uh, quarterfinal draw out now. Um, quite looking forward to it. Don't know if they're going to increase it from best of three. Uh, I kind of thought maybe we were in best of 19, but obviously not. Nowhere near that. Long way off. But yeah. And of course we've got the good old Crucible Classics. The most recent one I've watched was the 1992 final between Stephen Hendry and Jimmy White. The world wins. That was, um, well I knew Jimmy White would lose because um, I know he never won the world championship. I mean, nothing's stopping him. He might, he might still win it in the future. I mean, I'd love to see it, but... He's um, much older now. I think he'd become like the oldest winner of the World Championship. To have done that, oh my controller batteries are low. That's nice to know. One. Just as I'm down in a great shot. As I was saying, yeah. That final yesterday, the most recent one I watched, um, White and Hendry, what a match. 11-6, I kind of didn't know how Jimmy White was going to lose. I mean, 5-3 I kind of thought, yeah, you can catch up from 5-3, it's only two frames. Okay, it's a deficit, but it's an easy enough one to recover. And then, then when uh, they significantly just jumped ahead to the third session, 7-3, I just thought, sorry, 11-6, I just thought, really? This is going to be um, some crazy match, some crazy comeback. And 13-8, 14-8, and then it clicked into place. I realised at 14-8 that Hendry was going to win the last 10, and he did. What? <laughs> I thought, that that's a shame. Position looked very good here. I felt for he Jimmy in those frames, because well. he couldn't put a ball. I mean, the highest break that I remember seeing from him was like something like 15, and I felt it was like enjoyable to watch him pop balls then, when he was like, it got to like 16, 14 by the time he was getting chances. And he was getting his, um, he's getting annihilation, it was embarrassing, I felt for him. Three. And I think um, recently he played a very good match against the Sullivan, the champion of champions, last year. When they tried, we led 3 0, Sullivan produced a super comeback to win 4 3. Mm -hmm. Match that um, never thought he'd win. Well, I didn't actually see the first four frames. Yes. Sorry, the first. Awesome. I didn't actually watch the match live. I just um, tuned in on the decider. Not the ideal result, but that was it. I mean, worse. Jimmy was, uh, what, 30 odd points in front. Done a decent break, but Sullivan. Sullivan, you know, Sullivan is a rocket. He's an expert, as we say. Oh, fouled, haven't I? The cube will drop, and that's a foul. That's a shame. Foul. Ronnie O. Sullivan, seven. Reese Clark, four. Might make me play again, <laughs> like Stephen Hallworth did. Sorry, not play again, play from here. Well, he hasn't. He's missed it. Bye. To quote Joe Johnson, oh, proverbial week. What a phrase. I do love that phrase. You probably know by now. I've said it enough times. I, when Phil Yates said it, I just wanted to laugh. I just burst out laughing. I just thought, that is such a good phrase. I'm going to use that. Missed it by a week. If the earth had rotated for a week longer, you would have got it in. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's one way of, well, that's one way of um, thinking of it. Hey. <laughs> that's a great little phrase. It's the way he said it. He missed that by a week. It was so posh as well. Oh. Joe Johnson likes to say, well, he missed that by a week. It was amazing when he said it, I just thought that was great. 
great, great common sense mm -hmm. in my opinion. Meanwhile, Reese Clark's playing better than Stephen Hallworth. I don't know if Reese is on tour at the moment. I think he is. Well, I don't want to make assumptions. I'm pretty sure he is. I think I feel like I've heard of his name, although it might have been another season. I've certainly heard of him before. I, mean, I remember Sullivan playing him once. What's going on with my thing? Why am I on 20 degrees? I don't want to be doing any sorts of silly swerves. So, this pot into the right corner. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah, okay. One. I think I've um, been a bit lucky with where the black's finished up. Being quite... Yes, he's taking the pot on. That's really close, but not quite close enough. I thought it wasn't hard enough. It would have dropped if it were harder. If, if it, One. it wasn't the pace that was the issue. It, I just misjudged the angle. They're horrible. I had such a desire to do a big break in this frame, but I've blown it on behind. I mean, imagine not qualifying for the Yishan World Open. And I think it's a decent tournament as well. I think Trump won it. I think he was the one way to beat Tepchai and New in the final. I didn't watch it, but I've heard of it many a time. No I know poor old Tupchaya lost a frame on the year. Uh, yeah. um, silly old rule, three miss, misses and out. Because commentators like to talk about that one these days. Clark, 18. Oh, he didn't do a foul and a miss. I thought you, I thought you missed it. I thought you did a foul and a miss. Oh, that cue ball. I hope it don't go in. I've kind of repositioned. this up into the right middle pocket. That was, an, that was kind of a guesstimate, if that's a word. If it's not a word, I'm sure you can figure what? out what I mean. <laughs> a guess estimate. It wasn't oh, entirely yeah. an estimate either. Brilliant shot. Yeah, I suppose it's not a bad shot, actually. And consider you think, considering if you think back to about five, about ten videos ago, or what have you, nine, ten videos ago, something like that. I could not pot a ball. Sorry, I could pot a ball, but I couldn't win a frame. Eight. First match, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Sonny Akani. That wasn't my first game on Snooker 19. I'd, I actually played Snooker 19 a lot, and I actually played really well. But I probably just hadn't played it for a while. Did start to get really good at this really game. Really bad miss. That looked pretty straightforward to me. That looked like it was going in. Know. That was an in, as we say, in real life snooker. I've left him a couple of tempters. In the red along the rail, he, I thought he might have tried to not go in with the try and you get in off the pink, like I might try and do here. This is fine. I mean, to pop this into the right corner. I doubt it goes. Yeah, that only went in because wow. it nudged the pink, the but it wouldn't have got. But I would have gone for it properly if pink weren't there. I.e., I would have gone for it so that I didn't. I would have gone for it straight to the heart of the pocket. The only reason I didn't do that was because I thought that it wouldn't have gone in because the pink was blocking that. Just wants to sink this into the left corner. I don't think I'll take any undue risks and go for any difficult shots. Meanwhile, good shot. Did you say good shot? I've Screw position up here. Oh, I haven't. I'm on this red, but it's just difficult. Well, better, the pot here. better difficult than no hope at it. Oh, so close. You needed some. Oh, I'm missing them by fractions. Not even fraction. I'm missing them by seconds. Ronnie O'Sullivan. I'm certainly not missing them by proverbial weeks. Wait, that oh. went. I didn't think I'd left anything. I. I thought he was a bad player. Oh, well, on the game, not in real life, I don't know. He's a good player because he's pro. He just pop it, he did pop. That's a little good. Haha, -ha. serves him right for chilling Reach off. <laughs> I love how I'm so, um. I love how I'm so well, mean to these players. To the left corner. 
That had to be That's exactly the right be pace. Brown carries on running a cow, okay. At least oh, I haven't snookered him. Clark. Sorry, at least I haven't given him a free ball. If I had snookered him, it would be a free ball, you see. So, yeah. Quite happy with that shot myself. Obviously, could have been better. I could have done without the foul. I could have done with potting it. And 23 behind, he pots the yellow. I can only tie. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that crossed my mind. I need something to happen. Ooh, that was um, lucky. There's no hope of him putting that bar in a double anyway. No, not the result he was looking for. He hasn't doubled it. Black ain't uh, found the pocket either. So no great result. That wasn't the perfect shot either, so... Oh no, I've left it over the pocket! Oh dear. I've handed him the frame. This is a shame. This is a chance. Chance for Reese Clark, oh dear. Looks like I'm going to be going 1-0 down, guys. Two. Yep. Well, I'm not going to concede because I can still win the frame without snookers. Obviously, I can't win it without snookers and without a respotted black. Or without fouls and without a respotted black. Well, that's only to my favour bringing out the brown for now anyway. Actually, brown and blue are easy. The black, you can't say, is anything near difficult. But that wasn't the, that was an ace shot. Frame frame so I've hit the concede button. Thank you. The second frame. Reese Clark to break. So, Not an easy one, but for 1-0 deficit. Um, I can still win this match. I know the victory lines, then. I need a kiss on the brown. Yes, that was the best. That was a good kiss. Yeah, I think because I overhit it slightly. I think it overran. It wasn't the greatest of kisses in the end, but... I think I'll pop the brown. Well, that's my initial. That's what I'm initially tempted by. Yeah, I think I'll um, go it's my really gut instinct. I knew I was going to miss it to there. Missed it. That'll annoy him. I think the green went in. I've scored a point. Eh, hey, one point up. <laughs> I mean, front on material, as you could, you could say. But Reese Clark is in front on momentum. Put a superb green at the end to win that frame, I think. Um, He's looking to pop this into the left corner. That wasn't a bad shot. Okay. Um, Mr. Brown might not cost me a great deal. Well, I'm not sure that's what he intended. One. This won't be easy. I love how whenever he says this won't be easy, I always get it in. He'll be happy with that. Top shot. For what? Why will I be happy with it? Because does anything go? Uh, it might go. No, it doesn't go. Oh, that goes. That goes. Fair dues. Fair dues to your fans. So that's central. Yeah. The next one that goes off, you will believe in. Oh, I that? hoped for a better split there. Oh, well, I can only blame the phone going off. Um, what do I go for? I, mean, I think I might be able to get through to the blue. I mean, yeah, I can. I think I'll just try and cut it back, maybe. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Oh, I actually got really close. No. Not this time. I think that kiss on the blue was favourable. It didn't really do much with the direction of the keyboard, obviously it changed it a bit, but it just killed the momentum, I suppose it ended particularly well. I mean, I've left him right in amongst him. But look where that's got him. Because he is a, he's behaving like an expert at the moment. Well, he thinks he's an expert, yet his highest break of the frame is seven. Looking to run this along the cushion. I've actually played better than him in this match, you know it. A bit casual there, he'll be bit, annoyed with that. A bit casual, I am what? playing casually. 
a nice career mode, but you know, like I said yesterday, I played to have fun, not to, not to, you know. This is not easy. Well, I do play to win, obviously, but that was no, going to the heart of the pocket. Fun. I missed it by a week. Not a day, I missed it by a yard. I mean, what? Ronnie O'Sullivan. I missed it by a century. I forget a week, a week's like what? a slender margin. Compared to how I missed that, that was abysmal. If I'm gonna do, if he's gonna win the match off my petty little errors like that, then yeah, this game's rigged. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get for trying to be too clever. Hiding the black. Go on then, clever clogs. I can get the pink in. I bet he tries and, I bet he tries and does some sort of trick shot on the black. Ha. Huh. <laughs> the black nearly went in. By fluke. I think that's a legal shot if the black did go in, but it wouldn't have been the most greatest looking shot. No real risk with this attempted pop. How did I miss it? Attempt, really. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to go to the heart when I saw it moving, but I didn't think I'd miss it by... I didn't think it would stay out. Maybe, I suppose with my pace, I can only blame. I think it's covered behind the black, I mean... I think I could knock another red into it to play it, but what's the point? Top shot coming up. I'll, I'll wait, I'll spend that, I'll use that red when I can't get to any other. Unless if this break continues for much longer. Oh, why can't I build what? a break? Why can't you build a break when you need one? Just to get you going, just for a bit of fun, it's momentum. He's playing the it's really fun to pop balls to build momentum. If you can't do it, it winds you up. That's what drives you. That's what drives you insane. Ronnie Wonder snooker players hate the game. Well, they, well, some of them say they do. I mean, Sullivan's different. He says he loves it. Well, he says the Ronnie only reason he plays snooker is because it's for an enjoyment of it. I'm not even the titles, not the fans. Well, I don't know about that, but not one. the titles, not the money, just the enjoyment of the game. Great shot. I suppose, which is a very nice thing to say. Position's not ace, but it, it will do. What? Position on what? The black, Neil? <laughs> actually, the yellow's not bad. It actually goes really easily. It's actually easier than it... Oh, it's much easier than it looks. Oh, that's really easy. I'm knocking these in, yeah. He's finished a bit awkward here. I don't think I have. I think it might be a bit... It's not the best Three. by no means. No means. Yeah, that is exactly what I played. Well, I didn't. I didn't really think about position, but in terms of the, as far as the pot's concerned, that's exactly what I played. And as far as my next shot's concerned, I want to play this pink Tricky into the green pocket. That's loose. He wanted more control there. Oh, yeah, the middle pocket bump didn't favour me. I thought it might have done when I saw it happening, but um, yeah, I've messed up. I'm sorry, it could be end of break. Tricky pop, no doubt. Don't worry, I will give it my all if um, when I come back to the table next, because I will come back, in, even if it's not in this frame. I'm highly sure I will. I'm, I doubt it'll pop from here. Ten. It's Reese Clark we're talking about, not Sonny Akani, or because he is under the easy variety, I'm sure. Yeah, and under oh, the he, yeah, certainly under the um, hard players like they're Brilliant. like only top six, they're like top twenties, and I've never yeah, seen Reese Clark to be in the top twenty, Superb. unless he's like past his heyday. Which, as far as I'm concerned, that's yet to come. I think I'll play screw back. To that other red. 50%? Yep. Maybe over screwed it, but I'll live. I think the last shot was almost satisfying in itself, but I don't even mind if this shot doesn't go in. Obviously it would it would it would upset me if it didn't go in, but nicely onto the black. Yep. 
Yeah, keep will stop. Right. Oh, straight, isn't it now? Because you see, the problem is when you're straight, you can only go forwards and backwards. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I'm in is a believe? bit of a predicament. I've only made a break of 16 because I overhit that shot on the red because had I have not hit it, second red that is, I would never have overscrewed. Sorry, I would never have been straight on the black. I would have been low on it. If I was low on it, I could have had an angle to get to that red. That's actually the red I played about. Just a minute there, I thought I was on 71. I think I would have um, been chuffed. But um, speaking of um, big numbers, this is frame ball. It'll be. Yes, it's red needed. Because it. Yep, it's in the hole. That's heart. a wonderful, wonderful pop. It's not a wonderful pop, no, it's a wonderful, wonderful pop, apparently, yeah. according to Neil. One. Good Neil Farms. I'm sure he was a great pop player as well. The right corner. Certainly a good commentator. Where's the cue ball going to? Yeah! Oh, I think it's a bit high on the yellow. The oh, well, only issue with that is it doesn't let me get onto the green. Because I just want a bit of practice for the next frame. Playing for the middle pocket. I'm not on the green. That hasn't really worked out at all. Well, I think the frame's very much safe. I mean, what is it? I mean... C is 25 on 36, 15 points he needs out of fouls. That's at least three snookers, but four snookers well. Impressive shot with the rest. That was a double. And a double to extent. A double happens when it's almost fluky. Yeah, that was tough. But I don't really care. I don't care if the cue ball goes in. I mean, it will upset you slightly. But having made a break of what have you, 13? Ronnie O'Sullivan. 13. Yeah. Conceded. It was a good break. Game, you see it. And that Oops. is the frame. Well played. I don't think you can see the scoreboard, can you? No advantage at the moment. A very side match. Thank you. The third frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. There we go. 1-1. One, one. There you go. Just giving you a good view of my um, of the screen because I didn't think you could see it properly before. I don't know. This might be the last frame. Oh, what am I? What was I doing on that? What was I even thinking? I was. I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking to cut that red in to the other pocket. I don't know why I always think about a pot. I mean, that's why the professionals are so good. I mean, if there's no pot on player safety, I mean. Even if there is a pot on, sometimes they turn it down. And that's probably why I like players like Tap Chai Unnu because they play like, play like, well, players like me, I suppose. They just, they, if there's a shot on, he'll go for it. And that's what I love. And he's so fast. He's such a good player. He's such a good player, but yet he goes unnoticed because he, I don't know if he's won any. He, of course, he's won every. Of course, he's won the shootout. And the shootout is literally. The guy's that one of the fastest players on tour. And you gotta say shoot has a tournament made for him. That's a good split. He's got a real chance here. Depends if I'm on a red. So if I've got a real chance. Before we jump to conclusions, that is a choker. Cause Neil can see the red I'm on, but I can't. Hi! Oh no, I'm not on a red, I'm not on a red. Unless these two are some kind of plant. <gasps> these two are a plant! Okay. Yeah, terrible plant, but plant nonetheless. Yeah, it was a dream. I was, just, I was dreaming on that shot. What did I literally say a few minutes ago? Tep Chaira and New, what does he do? He goes for the pot. 
running up for What do most professionals do? They don't go for the pot. I don't look for safeties. My brain doesn't think like that, that's the thing. What? I don't practice safeties that they're not they're not I'm, I'm not interested Three, in them. Well, it's literally all I can say. Right. You made the mistake, I'm gonna punish you for that. I'm gonna build a massive brain. Come on here. I'm gonna get really bad. Yeah, no, there. What a wonderful pot. What a wonderful, wonderful pot, that's what you should say. One. I know I'm not on a red, you might think I've just gone insane. I'm just looking at reds that go so for my next shot. If I do should I should it transport a like pot of colour? I hope it does. This is no gimme. Well played. That was made more difficult due to the recipe. Oh of course he was gonna say that. He always talks about the rest. Right. Right, these two reds, by definition, are a plant. A task, I have to get right on to being able to hit them. I'm hitting them, yes. Oh, they are a plant, but why risk my break? Because this red goes. Yeah, that red goes, so I'm not going to risk my break. Be oh, that shot. I just missed, I just missed. You're lucky you get. Mate, Elliot Susser. Elliot Susser? Who do I mean? Reese Clark is a lucky right. get. I don't know why I said Elliot Susser. Just don't ask. One. I thought he missed that. He should have missed it because he's a rubbish player. I'm just going anyway. Oh, a lot of dust around me. It's quite disgusting. Reese Clark, five. I don't think my concentration's there today. I think that's probably why I've lost a frame to somebody like Reese Clark on Snooker 19. I mean, I'm not insulting Reese Clark. All I'm saying is that I don't believe I've lost a frame to somebody who's considered easier as an opponent on Snooker 19. Or well, certainly not hard, anyway. One. I mean, if I play someone like um, Judd Trump, I think um, I'd understand if I lost. This is tough. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd be the least bit surprised if I lost. That was a strange choice of shot there. It wasn't a strange choice of shot. It was what happened, i.e. Oh. hitting the middle pocket bump, which made it seem a horrible choice of shot. And due to the fact that nothing goes, I'm going to attempt to double. I want to attempt to double. In fact, I'm going to play the double to the middle if I'm going to play it. But I'm going to play it in such a way that the cue ball returns to bulk, i.e. it's called a shot to nothing. Well, I didn't intend for it to hit the pack and that's what happened, that's why it makes it look like a bad shot. Even that's good. <gasps> if I hit that harder, that red would have gone in. Look at that, look where it was going. The best shot I've seen. Else Hear that? Dave Hendon said that was the best shot I've seen, even though it was a miss. One. Take off the first word anyway. Not the best shot you've seen. Seven. He's a very rude person. On the, a very rude commentator on this game. And calling somebody shot not the best one you've ever seen is so insulting. I don't feel heartbroken. And let the player decide Reece themselves. Clark, now, Reese Clark, you know that is dirty what you've just done. Pace is key with this shot. You're what we call a dirty player. I fouled. Didn't I? Not what he intended at all. He'll be annoyed with I that. I didn't foul. I thought I hit the pink first, that's what I mean. Okay. Certainly won't be declaring any fouls on this game. I mean, what is there to declare? They don't. I mean, you, you, the referee's got his wide eyes, o eyes wide open. I mean, I'd notice. Uh, I'd, 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 in real life, of course, I'd um, admit to a foul. If, well, that's not ideal. Done. He's not finished in a great position. Because I wouldn't really That's feel satisfaction point. through winning. One. What about cheating, I suppose? It's not really honest. Tricky not beneficial. Underhit that deliberately, but. That's just unbelievable. You see Three. what happens? 
superb cubal control there. Ideal I want to take the easy red, not yeah. for the purpose because the dead easy shot. In fact, there's no need, I'm not worried. Oh, I should have taken it. I should have taken it. I knew I should have taken it. hoping it's not too costly. Oh, I'm a fool. Why didn't I look at the angle? One. This is a grow. Wow. Okay. Right. Make the most of this opportunity. I'm playing a frame very slowly here. All I gotta do. Focus. Certainly not something I'm doing very well today, I admit that. I'm not focused, I can tell you, you can see. Yep. Down it goes. Nicely positioned for the red. Eight. When I play that red, I play this red. Because it will get me, because I know it will get me onto a colour. Well, in theory, it should do. I just play it like that, just make sure. I only went in because I played it so good Nine. pace. Maybe if I'd played it at a better pace, the one I intended to, it might have just gone in hard to the pocket. That pace, 50%. Not too hard, not too soft. Don't blast, don't under hit. 16. I'm on a red, I know it. I can see it, yeah. I thought I was on that red. I am. I think I'm on it. No, I'm not. Let's see if I can try and force a swerve. So I can just drop this red in. Yeah, I can. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. That was always going to be tough. Maybe I should play the swerve a bit better. But I've still got a break of 16, I'll settle for it. I mean, it's not ace, but 39 points to what, 50? Break of 16. Yeah. Break of 16. More points than he scored in this frame, but I scored in that one break. Oh dear, I think. I think easy. Well, let's clip this, I think. Yeah, I'll just play shots and I think. Yes, play. he's taking the pot on. Why shouldn't I, Dave? I'm in front in artillery. Artillery? Points. When I say artillery, I suppose I can only be. <laughs> I'm in front of morale, I suppose. Like, I'm feeling, pretty feeling the battery too. It's pretty deep to the fact that I'm human and he's computer. Seven. I don't know what makes me think I'm in front of artillery because. <laughs> in front of that. Eight. And I've got a better cue than him. Ten. I've got more ranking titles than him. Five Eight time miles. world champion Ten. compared to. I'm not sure how many ranking titles. I don't know Down if he's even won any. I don't know, he hasn't won the world shot. championship. Well, the last time I checked, he hadn't. Unless 2020 has occurred. And even then, he would have had to win it. In 2020's World Championship, last time I checked, it's happening on the 31st of July. Going to the April the 16th. Sorry, April the 16th? August the 16th. I'm playing the pink simply because I feel like I can get it a bit better. So I'm just going to drop this red down in to the pocket, heart of the pocket. You'll be fuming about that. I'm going to be fuming because I'm snookered. Seven. If I hit it harder, I might not have been snookered. I reckon that, well, I can escape the snooker fire that angle. Well, my priority was escape the snooker, not player safety. Player safety is just a bonus. I scored 7 there, so 46, 15, 31 right in front. I just need the red, and I'm 32 in front with 27 remaining. In fact, now he can only tie. And a force will continue. And I'm 25 in front. When did he get those 10 points? He must have got 10 points without me no, thinking. He's taking the red on. Okay, I thought he was still on 15. Okay. What a beauty. Well, well that's not the frame yet, but pink is so easy. One. 
like it should be the yeah, frame. It's pink now. Certainly, if the keyboard isn't going off. Where's it going? Where's it going? Not in. It's not in. Seven. That just confirms it. That in fact, that the shot's over and it hasn't gone in. I'd love to carry on playing here, but the camera simply ain't got enough battery, and we're coming to that dreaded time. 27 minutes, so it'll be the end of the video, coming right up. Nine. But me, once again. He's taking this on. 2 1 at an advantage. Oh no, cue ball, cue ball, let me, let me have a, let me play a bit more. Tricky. Yes, I'm free the blue up. Well played with the rest. What an ace shot. Oh, but I'm snookered, that's a shame. 16. No, that'll be the end of the break. Well, I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed every minute of the break. Oh, I'm only going to play double. No harm in that when he needs about 10 snookers. Well, he doesn't need 10, but. Oh! It's all about the game being on your side. A pink's easy enough. Game position on the brown would be something. Sorry, brown, black. Let's do a bit of an exhibition well, shot. Taking it off. <laughs> That's what the shootout. That's what the shootout audience would do. Twenty-seven. Now, can you drop this into the right corner? Don't know if it'll go in. Oh, never mind. 27 breaks, good. you got to admit. Red, a yellow, a green, a brown, a blue, and two pinks. That's the frame. Right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please multi-scribe, multi-like, and watch this shot if you really want to. Multi-scribe, multi-like. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Yep, Thank you, that's all I've got to say. Clark to break. Guys, you can watch this shot, and that concludes part three of this series. Watch out for part four. Remember, keep on easy life. Coming soon. Goodbye.